Hello YouTube, my name is Thomas Rasmussen and today I have something very, very interesting to show you. What I'm going to share with you in this video are some of the future products for Explain. Not only Explain 10, but also Explain 11. Obviously, there are many different aircraft currently being developed and while not being able to mention them all, I'll only take a look at the ones that I personally find some of the most interesting. In order to make this video, I've been in contact with multiple developers and let me tell you, there is really something to be excited about. I've been granted permission to show screenshots and in some cases also videos that I'll share with you during this video. In one case, I've even had a beta version of the aircraft in my own hands and the opportunity to make a couple of video clips that I've been given the developer's permission to share with you. Some projects are very far in the development process, while others have only just been initiated. Anyway, I hope you'll enjoy this journey into the future of Explain. Let's take a look at the first aircraft, which is the Bombardier Global 6000, developed by DDEN. The Global 6000 is a large cabin ultra long range business jet manufactured by Bombardier Aerospace in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It's equipped with two BMW Rolls Royce turbofan engines with full authority digital engine control, has a typical cruise speed of Mark 0.85, a maximum range of 6000 nautical miles and a capacity of 4 crew members and 13 passengers. If you're gonna buy one, it'll set you back 62 million US dollars. Fortunately, DDEN's Global 6000 will not be quite as expensive. As you can see from the screenshots in the background, the aircraft is already looking amazing with its detailed interior modeling. It will also come with reflective skin. Dennis has granted me permission to show his video of the extraordinary interior modeling, so sit back and enjoy.
I've compiled the information that I've been given at the explain.org forum. For those of you who know DDAN's Challenger 300, this one will be at least as detailed. A custom FMC is in the plans as well as custom navigation displays and all or at least most of the systems. At the present time, no ETA has been announced. If you are interested in following the development of the Global 6000, here is a link to the explain.org forum. Thanks Dennis for letting me use your screenshots and video. Next up are two Airbuses that Jar Design are currently developing. The Airbus 319 and the Airbus 340. I have no information or screenshots from the development of Jar Design's Airbus 340. The only thing I know is that it is under development and that I am seriously excited about it. There is not much information about their Airbus 319 either, but I have a couple of screenshots and a single video that I've been given permission from Jar Design to show you. Now, the Airbus 319, which entered service in 1996, is a short to medium range narrow body commercial passenger twin engine jet airliner with a maximum range of 3,700 nautical miles. It's the shortened fuselage version of the Airbus 320 with a standard seating capacity of 124 passengers, while a high density version offered to low cost airlines has a seating capacity of up to 160 passengers. I have a video here showing the Airbus 319 side stick operation. As mentioned, there's not much official information about JAR Design's Airbus 319 or Airbus 340 project. But while being one of the top developers of aircraft for x 10 and based on their Airbus 320 Neo and 330, this is what to expect. Superb 3D modeling with detailed interior and exterior, ground equipment, excellent flight model with fly-by-wire technology that has probably been tested by real-world Airbus pilots, custom FMC including SID stars and airways, multiple simulated systems. Despite the lack of consistent information, I think the screenshots speak for themselves. And I know, I'm looking very much forward to fly both birds. Nevertheless, no ETA have been announced for either the Airbus 319 or the Airbus 340. If you're as excited as I am about the JAR Design Airbus 319 and 340, then you can follow the development here on JAR Design's Facebook page. Thanks to Andre Bellow from JAR Design for granting me permission to share the screenshots and his video of the side stick operation. The next aircraft we're going to talk about is actually not even an aircraft, but a helicopter from Dreamfoil Creations. Earlier this year I made a video for Dreamfoil Creations S300 CBI and it was so much fun to fly. Now, Dreamfoil Creations are known for their ultra-realistic helicopter simulations and the S300 CBI was no exception. A real-world S300 CBI helicopter pilot told me that the flight model was as close to the real thing as one could get. Therefore, I got really interested in Dreamfoil Creation's next project, which turned out to be the MD Helicopters MD500 series. This is one of the projects that has just been initiated, and therefore there are no end simulator screenshots or very much information. The MD500 was developed from the huge 500 a civilian version of a US Army light observation helicopter. It exists in multiple variants with a total capacity of 5, a max speed of 152 knots and a range between 232 to 326 nautical miles depending on the power plant of the variant. Which model Dreamfoil Creations are developing, I'm not aware, but based on Dreamfoil Creations previous achievements in helicopters, I'm sure that this model will be as real as it gets too. While the development has only just been initiated, no ETA exists. I know I'm looking forward to fly it, and if you're into helicopters as well and interested in following the development, then here is a link to Dreamfoil Creations Facebook page. Thanks to Fred from Dreamfoil Creations for letting me share the early 3D rendered screenshots. 
The next project we are going to take a look at is the Beechcraft King Air 350 from Airfoil Labs. The video in the background is actual X-Plane 10 footage from the development of the particular aircraft. The King Air 350 is a twin-engine turboprop aircraft that exists in different variants, with a maximum capacity between 9 to 11 passengers and a maximum range between 1,800 to almost 2,700 nautical miles. The power plant is made up of two Pratt & Whitney turboprops delivering 1,050 shaft horsepower. Airfoil Labs are mostly known for their study level simulation of the Cessna 172 Skyhawk which was released a little over a year ago. Airfoil Labs aim is no different, this time a study level simulation of the King Air 350. We will definitely see many of the features known from the Cessna 172 in addition to updated features as well as some completely new ones. Here is what to expect from the Airfoil Labs King Air 350. A study level simulation of the King Air 350 including tear and wear according to the way it is handled. A new, more flexible and sophisticated walkaround feature compared to the walkaround feature in the Cessna 172 has been announced. Very accurate flight model, probably tested and approved by real King Air 350 pilots to be as real as it gets. 3D sounds from the real aircraft sophisticated menu system. Here is another video from the development of this particular aircraft. Please sit back and enjoy. The planned ETA of Airfoil Labs King Air 350 is late 2016 or beginning of 2017. If you want to follow their project, then here is a link to their explain.org forum. Thanks to Uri for giving me permission to show the development videos from Airfoil Labs. The next project is FlyJSIM's Boeing 707, which was just announced a couple of months ago. The 3D rendered screenshot of the engine gauges in the background is the only one that exists. Thanks Jack for providing me with it and for giving me permission to use it. As mentioned, this project has only just been announced, so not much information about the project exists. What we do know, though, is that FlyJSIM is known for making very high quality aircraft. And this aircraft will most likely not be any different in that regard than any other FlyJSIM aircraft. Therefore, we'll most likely see a Boeing 707 with a superb flight model, excellent 3D modeling, animations and texturing, and very deep system simulation. I know I'm excited, and if you are, here is a link to follow the development. 
will most likely also be able to follow the development on FlyJSIM's Twitch channel, also linked in the video description. Next up is the MD-11 and MD-11F from ATS or Aircraft Training Solutions. The project has only just been announced and the development is still in such an early phase that not a single screenshot have been posted or any information of any kind have been announced yet other than ATS will be making a MD-11. Here's a link if you want to follow the development of the MD-11 and MD-11F. Now, there are probably many of you that don't even know ATS, the team behind the MD-11, that will be asking why is this MD-11 that will probably not be ready for release within the next two or three years, made by a team that not many may know of so interesting. Well folks, you'll understand that in just a minute, because ATS are currently making another aircraft, an aircraft that is much further in development, the MD-82 and MD-83. The initial release will be the MD-82, followed by the MD-83 at a later stage. And ATS have been so kind to provide me with a beta version of the beautiful MD-82, and therefore I've had the opportunity to put a little something together for you. So, it's time to grab the popcorn and sit back and relax. Enjoy! Welcome back folks, let me tell you that the team behind this MT-82 and 83 are extremely dedicated. Here is what to expect from the ATS MT-82 and MT-83. This is going to be a study level simulation with all or at least most systems very accurately simulated and an accurate flight model. Everything of course tested by real MT-80 pilots. Superb 3D modeling, animations and texturing. Two independent and fully functional flight management systems. Dual cockpit colors and much more. Even though, as you can see, the aircraft is currently in beta, there is no ETA. Thanks to Antonio and Alpha Mike for letting me fly this beauty and for letting me put something together for all of you. That was all I had to show you this time. Obviously, there are many other X-Plane aircraft currently being made that I did not show. There are a couple that I want to mention. The CRJ-700 from Supercritical Simulations Group and the Hawker 4000 from RW Designs. You can follow the development of these projects from the links in the background. I hope to get the chance to tell you more about these projects in a later update. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, please like and share. And as always, feel free to comment. Once again, my name is Thomas Rasmussen. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you next time. Until then, take care.